and they could have more decimates. Cool. Every unit they play is a win for us. We can handle any kind of unit they got. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Braum Dawn Speakers. This is going to be the next deck. It's going to be a, a, a deck that that's what it was built around. It was built around having Jarvan and Braum together and then also Dawn Speakers, trying to get those three cards to work together, which isn't necessarily easy, but that's what we got going on. All right, so we need for Dawn Speakers. Round end, grant other allies plus one plus one if an ally died this round. So we're going to need allies to die. And so in order to kind of help us have allies die, we're going to have a lot of challengers. So that's what you can see in here. Fleet Feather Tracker, Stalking Wolf, Laurent Protégé, and then at the top end, Swift Wing Flight, Swift Wing Lancer. So lots of things that are challengers that we can have die if we want, you know, we can how we, uh, how we challenge. The Swiftwing Flight seems pretty interesting for this deck because not only is it like a, a smaller card for the four mana, like where that's a pretty easy thing to have die, it can also give our other challenging allies plus one plus one so they can stay alive because really we just want like one thing to die each round, right? All we need is just one ally to die and then we want our other ones to grow. Um, and then plus we also want things to survive blockers, right? So like that's another thing is like in order to level up Jarvan, we need to have that happen so that therefore... We're gonna have to, you know, have like some challengers survive, but then another one die, you know, like that kind of stuff. So we had, it's kind of difficult putting it all together. But this card kind of helps out because we can also like create a blinding assault, use our spell mana on the blinding assault, maybe have the blinding assault die and then have this, have other things survive. I don't know, I think that's gonna be pretty interesting. I haven't really played the Swift Wing of Flight card yet, so it'll be interesting putting that in here. So we, as you can see, like with the flight, the Lancer, we're gonna have challengers that also can give us a little bit of card advantage. How like that has the last breath create the random elite. So we don't like run out of cards, but um, you know, hopefully we can, uh, yeah, <laughs> do that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, our Dawn Speakers will be growing stuff. will be growing Braum. Like that's gonna be pretty nice. Like having Dawn Speakers try to give the permanent plus one plus ones on the Braum, keep the Braum alive, have Braum control the board. Um, kind of the same thing with Jarvan, have Jarvan control the board. That's our plan. Then we got a Bright Steel Formation at the top end, basically because Bright Steel Formation just will win games, right? Like that's, this card is so powerful, it just wins games on the spot. So just throwing one of those in there too. All right, let's give it a try. Jarvan Braum Dawn Speakers. That was a little bit too long of a name. So we just shorten it to Jarvan Braum. But let's see how this one does. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, playing against some Lurkers. Lurkers have been pretty popular today. All right, so Lurkers are making a comeback. I'm gonna just go ahead and send all the spells back and we'll keep the Dawn Speakers and look for some more units. The single combat is another way to have an ally die. Troll Chan. These old eyes still see far. Still see both far and clear. All right, they hit the lurk. Strength and grace, beauty. In the I'm gonna play this card first to try to, um, you know, control the board a little bit. Honestly, I'm a little surprised by the block. I was not expecting that block. I didn't want them to block necessarily. But that's how it goes. Main question is if I'm going to be using Troll Chant or not, and I guess that answer is not. I guess we just let the... well, maybe we do. I 
use Troll Chain. I got three other mana. I can go Dawn Speakers, but then if I do go Dawn Speakers, I don't have a good round next round. I guess I'm going Lancer or Flight. Wait, I could do Flight plus. Pass. Okay. It gives me just a little bit more information about what is likely going to be happening coming up. So I let this happen. Fortunately, Dawn Speaker is his other allies. It doesn't help itself. Our allies did not fall in vain. By the strength of our convictions. I'm not sure. This is a weird. Wow, another Rek'Sai. I don't know, this is weird sequencing, for sure. Be strong. These are dark times. But we're kind of getting our Dawn Speaker set up. Hopefully this works out. Nothing so big. So it needs to attack for 8 plus. So we know they have two Rek'Sai's in hand, right? Because they didn't, they didn't put one back. I don't think. And then it gets Fearsome, Overwhelm, and Spell Shield. Sorry, this is just so weird. <laughs> Dang, I'm at. Okay, wait. Who will stand with us? Okay, I suddenly don't feel so great about taking the Silverwing Vanguard. Our allies did not fall in vain. Okay, good. I like that. Um. Cirky! Thank you so much, Cirky. Thanks for that uh, resub. I appreciate that. Thank you, Cirky. Yeah, I should have I should have gone with the Blinding Assault, I think, last round, and I could have then used that and then made a... You know, the Blinding Assault would have been buffed twice. I think this was going to be, like, multiple Bonnies, like, where I have one challenge, and but with having the Swiftwing Lancers that also take up a lot of mana, I should have done Blinding Assault last round, too. Or even just the one-drop. I guess the one drop and the blinding assault are basically the same. So I'm thinking they may play like a, a spell. Okay, never mind. I wanted to keep the Prismatic Barrier available because I thought they were going to maybe do like the spell, but I guess they all they have are Rex Eyes. Hmm. I didn't want to go, I didn't want a preemptive Prismatic Barrier. I would have done it on this thing. So I was like, if they were going to save the Overwhelm card, that's what I was thinking could happen. So why am I not just attacking with the. Yeah, I guess I could just attack with these other Dawn Speakers also. All right, four cards. Two are Rex Eyes? Question mark? I think. Okay, that's the other Rex size right there.
I don't know if this is better than Prismatic Barrier and just having it so they have like just two Rek'Sai's on top. But Rek'Sai has a good champion spell. I feel like that single combat we're not going to have like a great way to use it later where Prismatic Barrier we can definitely have a great way to use it later. And this is only 19 damage. Because I messed up earlier. I guess we want this thing to die for getting the random elite. Hopefully it's elite that costs four or less. Oh, cool, cost two. So yeah, that would have been lethal if I would have attacked earlier, right? Like last two rounds ago, I could have attacked for six, I think. That would have been lethal right there. Did mess that up. I love that they're not playing the other Rek'Sai. I love that. Just how do we go about doing this? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna hold on to the Flash Freeze and or that card and you know maybe have an Entomb for the next blocker. Ooh, really has the new uh, champion skin. Forgot about that. Haven't seen that yet. Cool. All right, so double Dawn Speaker is getting it done. We're going to keep Protege into Braum into Swiftwing Flight. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to find something to do round one, round two, but I like these three. Because then Swiftwing Flight, I can play this on round five and play this plus Blinding Assault. Okay, I guess we're going to keep Prismatic Barrier for the first two uh, rounds. Okay, we're stocking wool. See what we see, soldier. Hmm. I think probably keeping Prism you know, the mana for Prismatic Barrier, that's probably going to be... Because by stocking wool, if I get a block on one, two... We still take the same amount of damage. Alright, still take the same amount of damage. At least it's only 6 damage instead of 8, I guess. We need to find the positives. Nice, now we have the 3 spell mana for uh, Take Heart as well. Take heart goes well with Braum, unless they play Will of Ionia, and then that would make us sad. Alright, I'm thinking about passing here, because if I if I attack challenge, then they get to play a really, uh, where passing just wastes a mana. It's only one mana, though. I think we're going to do this. Twin Disciplines needs to be nerfed. So no protection for the Braum anymore, but we do have a backup Braum. Do not see what is. See what will be. Sand and blood! Close my eyes. Make it fair. We got a mighty Poro. It's the mightiest Poro. It's the mightiest Poro. Gonna go with the Lancer. If it gets bounced, um, you know, it's not like multiple cards, right? Like I'm not investing like a take card or anything into it.
Alright, where are you at, Jarvin? Two out of three. Rom, two out of ten. Jarvan. So this could be a very scary turn with that Green Glade duo. I cannot block that thing. No sharp sights to be found. Okay, I can take three damage though. Three damage is doable. Like, I kind of want next round to be able to have Jarvan single combat. I think that's, like, my plan. Jarvan single combat. Maybe just single combat right here. Yeah, Brom's awesome. Big fan of the Brom. No quarter. They have so much recall. Total recall, one would say. Dark times come and go. Jerima is send in sky, past and present. Gonna run out of space in hand. Good thing I take the one mana card. So you only got two cards left? I got eight cards left? What shall we play for your no, that's the best card they could have. Or the verses you remember. Uh, that's not good. Let's see. Man, this is not good. Who does not know the name Laurent? All right, so that levels up Aurelia now. Also, the order is given. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. Oh, really? Has a new level up animation? Awesome. Good game. Disgruntled Gruntled, the donation deck. Thank you so much to so Jarvan Shen. Cool, cool, cool. So I am going to mulligan the Stalking Wolf, keeping the others, keeping things that have a lot of health, basically, or cards that replace themselves. The Stalking Wolf not only gives them the 1 1, but then also dies to Mystic Shots, and I don't want to have cards that die so easily to Mystic Shots. The order rewards its faithful. Strength and grace, beauty in the plane. Which, Swiftling Flight also dies to Mystic Shots, to be fair. But in doing so, it creates an additional card in hand for me. Who does not know the name Laurent? Certainly considered passing. And having them waste four mana. But I think that, that kind of plays into their hand a little more than what I would like. So went ahead and went ahead and did that. If we don't find Braum, Jarvan, Bright Steel Protector, if we don't find those seven cards, we're not going to win this game. The 
order rewards its faithful. Yeah, we are not winning this game without those cards. They cannot hide. Maybe I should just be passing to them just in general because they got 10 cards in hand and they they go to the next round, they burn a card. There's not, I don't see like an option that I absolutely love, you know, I was definitely considering just attacking out with everything and like some different challenges. Um, there wasn't one that I absolutely loved. This, this buffs other challenging allies. Not itself. I would like to play like this flight this round, but then also Dawn Speakers this round. We can't do both. Why am I not attacking with Valor for two? What am I doing? That's like multiple times I've done that. that I just focus on what I'm challenging and then just forget to attack with the other things. So they, they should just be at 16. And really, I could just play this before attacking also. They could just be at 15. By the strength of our convictions, our allies did not fall in vain. With them just having the one mana left. All right, so they could be at 15. That could be, that could meta. That's true. Last time we did this, we won though. Last time that I just missed out on some easy damage, we did win the game, so. That's a good sign. They got 10 cards in hand, plenty of cards. I have 10 total cards, just four of mine are in play, six are in hand. Yeah, let it die is an option that maybe I should have used a little bit more than what I did. I'm not sure if they get to see which one of these three cards you create. I've been thinking about that, whether or not they do. I don't I don't know. I don't think they do. Okay, chat saying they cannot see it. So I'm assuming my opponent has like some champions that they would really like to play, but I'm not really allowing them to play the champions with having these, uh, all these challengers. What do they choose? Do we we don't get to even see what they chose? That's really nice. Ezreal's already leveled up. So if I would have done the three extra damage before... Um, I could have done five extra damage right there, so they could be at one. 
if you know like then but they would keep that they would have that thing still alive my valor would be dead you know different stuff like that i need to keep the single combat for well, that card's definitely annoying but the single combat's more for karma more worried about karma obviously i'm blocking that thing what is blocking that thing though something that i'm gonna want to die maybe not All right, no karma around. My past flashes. Ah! Yeah. All right, let's go for it. They're going to have to stop two different attackers which is definitely possible like right like they're a deck built around spells the thing is like if they are able to stop two different attackers that could be a problem for me i have to target that that's unfortunate all right unless they have ravenous flock Cool. They needed like two of those Ionia cards. GG's. All right, two and one. Got there with exact lethal. Oh no. They're going to be killing us. We got some pirates trying to loot our stuff. Misfortune Gangplank. So we got two drop, three drop, four drop. I don't necessarily know if this hand's going to win or not, but it, they're cards, <laughs> right? We got some cards. The Dawn Speakers work really, really well together when you have like two of them, right? If you like, we saw the round one having two of them being able to grow each other, and they're they're good blockers, assuming that they have like two ones and three twos and stuff like that. The one four is a good blocker. But then again, you know, these, this isn't like the powerful part of our deck, right? Like, there's no Braum here. Which is probably my best card in the matchup, like Braum, like they're all protege is very good. Oh, what's up, Braum? I was just talking about you. Yeah, so Wolf can take down the Crackshot Corsair, and then that'll be one out of three for Jarvan, if we ever find a Jarvan. Uh, they are passing here, and I can assume that they want yeah, we still challenge. So do they want to play like a Mega Rain? Or just, you know, a Legion Grenadier? Yeah, it's two mana for Mega Rain for sure. Awesome. I will just go ahead and pass. I'll take the pass. Even though I don't have any spells. No, that seems silly to take the pass right now. Yeah, that seems kind of silly to take the pass. Words move hearts and armies. When we have no spells and we have all of these units that we need to play. So that's Mega Rain. That's also Mega Rain. Okay, well there's there's no way they're both Mega Rain, right? So what's the other one? The other one, Decimate, maybe? Why are you not attacking? Is it the boosters? Who knows? Like a fish in water. <laughs> ah, this is fun, yes? Dead men tell my tale. Uh-oh. 
Alright, the only card I can play is Stalking Wolf. I wanted to play Dawn Speakers right here, but I have to play both Single Combat and Troll Chant. And to be honest, I guess I don't really have to... You are safe with I guess I could just do the minus two over here. I guess I don't I don't have to play single combat actually. So Brahm's gonna take five. Yeah, because we just do that. I see I was gonna have to single combat the spray fin, but yeah, so there's another make it rain. So that's gonna do two to me, two to Mighty Poro, and two to Dawn Speakers. Okay, that's acceptable. Yeah, that's acceptable. How much do I want that dog in the window? How much do I want to try for the Dawn Speakers? That gives these things plus one plus one. It would also make it work and maybe even actually kill a gangplank with a single combat. Sounds important. Double up. So that's deals two. If it kills it, deal four. So prismatic barrier that. I, I honestly kind of forgot about the prismatic barrier. I was definitely thinking about different cards to single combat with that. Because my plan was to play this other Dawn Speakers this round. That was that was my plan of like double dawn speakers. Probably just got to do this. I just got to do that. While we know they can't disrupt anything. Our allies did not fall in vain. Reporting in. Ready. Help is on the way. Close my eyes, make it fair. I'm not too worried about the Brom dying because if, even if they use like a fervor to kill Brom, yeah, but they're gonna do the fervor like that. Makes sense. We're at eight. And they could have more decimates. Cool. Every unit they play is a win for us. We can handle any kind of unit they got. What I can't handle is... We can handle any kind of unit. What we can't handle is decimates and fervors and, you know, direct nexus damage. I've already played two Mega Rains and a fervor. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, I love playing Braum decks. So, yeah. Braum, Dawn Speakers, Jarvan. It was difficult building the deck around those three, but I think we've done a pretty good job. And, yeah, it's definitely my kind of deck. No, another fervor? Oh, man. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Okay. Definitely feel good now. Yeah, we got this. I mean, I did the Jarvan because Jarvan gets the whole barrier and everything, but I guess I should be doing the Braum to level up Braum. Level up Braum, pretty cool. Me. 
No. All right, we got him. Three and one. Raise our banners. Demacia prevails. Demacia prevails. Back to Karma Ezreal. This is going to be another tough test. The Gatekeeper to Diamond. <laughs> I guess we're going to mulligan this thing. And that one. We'll keep our sentries. Sentries are good units that we can play to attack early that will uh, replace themselves when they die. They're out there. I'll spot them. Not sure I love ha having the three sisters. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Hello. Just take it. No, oh, okay. So we're back to twenty. Man, all all the combat tricks. I'll take the pass also. I don't have to be too hasty. The pass as well. Ionia speaks through me. I don't like letting them generate free spells. I really don't like letting them generate free spells. Single combat is pretty useful. Hmm. I don't know. This is... They put me in a tough spot. With playing that karma, I don't like our chances now. Ooh, okay. They're waiting on the stun card. Oh, a gotcha. Not a stun card, but two mana gotcha. So many of those. Words move hearts and armies. I wish they told you which one they took, slow, fast, or burst. I would like to know. Good sharp sight draw. Please, no more karmas. Just out of Worth eight damage having both of these things die. I can Fury the North to try to kill this scattered pod. That takes five mana. I got eleven right now. I'd have six left over, so I would still have single combat, single combat, sharp sight. Alright. necessarily have to be doing this right the second. I guess I could be waiting until round end to see if they play like karma or something. Yeah, I don't I don't need to be doing this right now. 
I shouldn't be. The only like benefit to doing this right now is like if they use another spell and and do kill my six six, then or you know, like bounce it or something, then maybe they don't get the three two from the concussive palm because it's gone. That's what I was thinking. Like with the benefit would have been, but it gives them more information. I think they have their one thing to kill the Dawn Speakers, and so I'm gonna just save this to protect Dawn Speakers. Alright, Bright Steel Protector. Sorry. Alright, Bright Steel Formation. <laughs> there you go. Time for you to not to fall in vain. Dude, look at this lightning bolt on this Bright Steel for Formation. That's pretty sweet. It just gets a lightning bolt. I don't really know exactly why it has a lightning bolt, but that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, Tracker, I can't play you first. Can I? Can I play Tracker first? Yeah, I can. Alright. Lightning Bolt means the unit has text. Dude, we get some sweet Lightning Bolts. I don't know why they're super big. They're usually like this size. So now they stun or recall. Karma. The answer lies within. Where there is life, there is hope. Demacia wills it. I'm gonna stun and recall. So they have to deal with the nine nine, and then also the five three. If they, you know, for five mana, if they want to keep their karma alive, they do not have the ability. Awesome. That's a four one. That is master, or no, diamond ranked. We're getting there. <laughs> it's all thanks to the big bolts. We got the big bolt buff. Diamond. GG's, all right. So we got the 4-1. Got to diamond ranked. And this is definitely my kind of deck and it, it worked, you know, trying to, trying to build a Dawnspeaker's Braum Jarvan deck. Not super easy, but I think it worked. The Swiftwing Flight really did look good. This card, you know, the first time ever playing this card, um, it did. It really did its thing. Uh, the Lancer was cool. Yeah, I think it worked fairly well. Everything kind of did what we were hoping for it to do. Having those, uh, having the combat tricks of Sharp Sight, Troll Chant, and Single Combat, all three of those allowed us to do some some different things when we needed to. And Braum's awesome, and that's why you just play a Bright Steel Formation, because Bright Steel Formation will just win games when you play it, right? Like, so that's why you just got a random Bright Steel Formation at the top end. We could have like King Jarvan. I think that's what most people would probably put in here is like a King Jarvan to go along with the Jarvan. But to be honest, this is just such a powerful card that's just so hard to stop and everything. Just every, nine nine with everything barrier, the game just kind of ends real fast. Even though I know it doesn't really work with Dawn Speakers because none of your stuff's dying anymore, you're still fine. You just attack them and kill them. So, all right, so there we go. So that's going to be Jarvan Braum. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. So let me know what you think about Jarvan Braum Dawn Speakers. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you and how you like the deck. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.